And we are back with, at the 2023 IBJJF World Jiu-Jitsu Championships. We've got the featherweight final coming up. Diego Sodre of Novo Niao is going to be taking on Sam Nagai of Checkmat. See up there the ranking for Samuel Nagai, number 132 in IBJJF versus the number 38, Diego Sodre. Diego Sodre made the final last year at the 2022 Worlds. Ended up losing a very close match to Isaac Doderlein. Sam lost in the semis last year to Isaac. And we are ready for this final. Sam Nagai in the white gi representing Checkmat. Diego Sodre in the blue gi representing Novo Niao. Starting out up, with a double guard pull. You brought up that last year Isaac Doderlein was the one to send Sam Nagai home in the semifinal. But this year in the semifinal, Sam Nagai returns the favor with possibly the most emphatic submission of the day with an arm bar off of a pass. Yeah, he got that arm bar, turned it into a triangle, then finished the arm lock. An incredible moment for Sam Nagai. Diego Sodre, a 2022 European champion. A 2022 World Silver Medalist. Oh, very interesting. That Sam is going to be two for two. Sam Nagai. Times the guard pull with the takedown. And that is Diego huge for Sam Nagai. Trying to sweep. some people in the crowd complaining to the referee about a few different things. Diego had wins over Caixinho, Joao Mendez, and Fabricio Andre to advance to this featherweight final. Sam Nagai had wins over Isaac Dodeline via submission. He also had a win over Danilo Moreira and Gabriel Souza. Oh, and Diego Sodre possibly turning all the way to Sam Nagai's back. Sam Nagai oh, not out of danger yet. Almost turns it into a triangle. Wow. Correction, the guy had runs over Kito, Onin Oyan Nagai, Jun Young Cho, and Alex Sodre. And then Isaac Dodo wanted to advance at this final. Sam Nagai leading this featherweight final, 2-0. Diego Sodre does have one advantage, and they each have one penalty. Diego with the De La Hiva in the lasso position. Sam trying to control that De La Hiva leg with his left arm. Sam trying to drop his level down and keep good posture to break the leverage that Diego Sodre has over that left lasso. He seemed to be punching his right shoulder through, trying to get that lasso out. And here we go. Die Sam the guy on the outside is a dangerous force to deal with, but Diego Sodre realizes he's losing the grips, locks his closed guard. Yeah, Sam was trying to free himself of those grips. Diego ends up blocking the closed guard to get some more control of Sam. We're about three and a half minutes into this featherweight final here at the 2023 World Jiu-Jitsu Championships. Diego Sodre on bottom in the blue gi representing Novo Niao. 
Sam Nagai on top of the Waikiki, representing Checkmat. In the corner of Sam Nagai, his brother Jackson Nagai, who we saw fell short in the semifinals to Jonathan Alves, who was waiting in the wings for his opportunity. Competitors each have two penalties now. Third penalty will give each of them an advantage. You got Jackson, the guy in the bottom right corner, coaching his brother Sam. Jackson competing in the lightweight division this weekend here at the Worlds. Look at Diego now trying to get underneath the leg of Sammy, the guy, transition that lapel through. He was able to get up here. He could end up in a good passing position. Now he's got that bell grip. Diego trying to create a better angle here. In this 50-50 style position. Both hands on the bell grip now. What are some of Diego's attack options from here, Jake? Well, from right here with the, with the grip on the belt, he can pull back and try to sit Sam and the guy on his butt. He doesn't have any interest, it seems, in attacking the legs of Sam and the guy. And looks like the guy, now you can see right there, really wants to get that left leg out of this situation and try to pass from the open. He has a slight lead, but it's not enough to be comfortable with, especially from this 50-50 position with Diego Saldre up on advantage points, tied in penalties. It's a precarious spot for both competitors. Neither competitor very active from this position. You hear people in support of both Sodre and the guy calling for a stalling call. And yeah, they're a bit stuck here. Sam with that grip on the lapel with his right hand, pulling himself in tight to Diego. Sam still up those two points. Each going to receive a penalty, it looks like. And both competitors will be awarded two points as it was their third penalty each. They're going to reset on the feet. Diego tries to pull guard. Double pull. See if Sam and the guy opts to come up. If he does that, it'll even up the advantages. And, and he does. Comes up. Oh, but Sam look at this. Good attack on Sam's left arm. Very interesting. Sam and the guy keeping that left grip. Stepping that right leg out. Good disengagement and movement by Sam Nagai. Able to free his arm. A little over two minutes left. Sam Nagai can ride this two point lead and keep it. He will be a Black Belt World Champion. Both these guys looking for their first Black Belt World title. 
And they go back in the close guard where we saw, where we saw him earlier. Guard retention and good pass attempt. Nice exchange there. About 90 seconds left in this featherweight final here at the 2023 Worlds. Sam Nagai currently leading Diego Sodre by two points. Both athletes looking for their first black belt world title. You can see the strain on Diego Sodre's face right there. He's putting everything he can into this sweep. Toes get caught, the key a little bit. Just one minute left. Sam with that left knee forward. Diego trying to use the Deli Hiva and that lapel grip to off balance Sam, move him around, and potentially get the sweep points that he would need to tie this match up. Sam shoving that leg in between his own. 30 seconds. Time is winding down. This match is very close. Sam the guy trying to avoid these sweep attempts from Diego Sodre. Both guys looking for their first black belt world title. Diego was in the final last year. Getting the silver medal last year. Makes it back to another final. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Sam looks confident. Sam the guy is a black belt world champion. Amazing performance from Sam the guy. Wins his first black belt world title here in 2023. Final score, four points for Sam Nagai, two for Diego Sodre. And a shout out to Diego Sodre is necessary, making it to the finals of Worlds two years in a row. Such an incredible competitor. But it was Sam Nagai's day today. Sam the guy, black belt, featherweight world champion. Emotional moment for him. He's got his brother in the corner, screaming for him. Incredible performance. Jackson, the guy. <laughs> and now we're seeing that moment right there put Sam ahead. That quick takedown off the guard pull. Did a great job keeping his base, looking for passes to the outside. 
Calling to the metal podium, the metal is for the Sam guy was able to maintain division. that lead for the duration of the match in positions just like this against the dangerous Diego Saldre, shoving the leg in between, keeping himself out of harm's way. Diego's got amazing sweeps too, so for Sam to avoid all those attacks throughout the match, very impressive stuff. In third place, representing Aliance, Isaac Dodoline. What a star-studded podium that is. Fabricio Andre in second place, and Isaac Doiderlein on third place. Diego Sodre in second place. Really is an incredible podium. We got 2021 world champion Fabricio Andre, 2022 champion Isaac, and now 2023 champion Sam Nagai. And your 2023 male featherweight champion, Samuel Nagai, representing Czech Matt. Sam the guy is your black belt, featherweight world champion. Gets his first world title. We're gonna cut to a short break and we will be back with the lightweight black belt final.